up to the Northwest Angle, heading across northern Wisconsin. We're heading up to uh, Sunset Lodge on Oak Island. Northwest Angle, we're going to be fishing with Dan Schmidt, a real well-known guide up in that area. Nice guy. Last year I had the opportunity to fish with him for a couple of days and caught a lot of walleyes and uh, saw some big crappies, so it's going to be a good time. What we're going to do for an OFM on the Ice episode is walk you through what it's like, the experience of fishing the Northwest Angle up out of Sunset Lodge. We're about two and a half hours on the road right now, almost to Duluth, and we've probably got about another eight hours to go. Our next stop is up in War Road. We're going to be crossing the Canadian border from there, and we'll pick it up from there. Crossing the old Duluth area here. There's a tugboat out there breaking ice, that's pretty cool. These breakers are busy this morning. Just past Percy's place. Well, almost to War Road. It's about a quarter to five right now. We've been on the road a little while. Gonna go across the Canadian border. About 10 minutes, and then we got a little bit of a ride. There's a back road for a ways, and uh, there's a check in station. And when you go from the border through Canada back into Minnesota, you actually have to stop at the check in station. We still got that ahead of us. Um, like I said, a few minutes we'll be at the border, get across uh, Canada and back into Minnesota. Well, we just reached Jim's Corner. This is the area where you need to check in the customs. Uh, Turn right onto Dawson Road Northwest. We'll go inside the little building here, right over ahead of us. That's your reporting station. We'll go in there and report that you are now out of Canada and in Minnesota. Before you can head on your way down to uh, the Northwest Angle over by Sunset Lodge. Stop in here, Make a -turn and proceed check in, and continue on our route. Pushing the U.S. because we're back in the U.S. Hi. Keith Worrell, that's K-E-I-T-H-W-O-R-R-A-L-L. -L. Well, we just got off the phone with U.S. Customs. What they're gonna ask you when you come to Jim's Corner is your name and birth date of everybody in the crew. If you're from U.S. or Canada and anyone else in the car is from U.S. or Canada. And then they also wanna know the license plate number of your vehicle. So when you come to Jim's Corner, remember those, write it down if you can't remember. And that way whoever comes in and does the reporting, it's all right here and you don't have to go back and redo it three or four times. So it's pretty simple. Just call up, now I'm done, and we can head to the Sunset Lodge. Well, we just passed Young's Bay and we are now on the ice road on the way out to Sunset Lodge. This is a little bit of a jaunt, but they've got, uh, they've got signs at every corner and uh, to show you how to get there. You just follow the signs on the ice road and so you show up. You got about an 11 or so minute drive and we'll be there.
you ever wonder what a bomber ride is like, this is what it's like. Going across the island right now on Oak Island, shoot out the other side, go to our walleye fishing destination. Start it on. I mean, we are just getting in the shack, too. Just started this morning. Okay, I wrapped up on my other line when I got on this one. So. Slugger. Good start for, the, for dinner for tomorrow. Yeah. No, we haven't been in the shack five minutes, and I lost a fish already, and then caught. That's actually a pretty nice slugger. Yeah, it's a good slugger. Good eater. Soccer's like that. We come out here to get dinner. Doesn't get any better now. These things are perfect for that. Well, after a long day of fishing, we did really well. We did. We got enough for dinner. We had a couple of fish in the two back and one fish that went in the slot. A nice walleye, probably in no, the lower 20s. And this is the rewards of being out on the ice all day. Come back to Sunset Lodge after a day on the water. They'll take the fish that you bring in. They're going to clean your fish for you. And then you can take those fish and either put them in your possession limit for when you go home, or you can take them and have them cooked up at the bar at that point when you decide to eat them that night. So, doesn't get any better than that. Fresh fish, just caught. Within a few hours of catching it, you're eating it. And they cook it up for you. Good one. 
Wow, that is a hog. Nice crappie, Steve. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. I got it on the camera. Wow. On, on that gold spoon. It's still working. Man. Oh, yeah. That is a slob. That's a dandy. Dropped it down and my line didn't keep going, so I'm like, well, I'm not on the bottom. There's a fish on there of some kind. I put on a bigger bait because I couldn't get him to hit that little jig anymore. Yep. Look at that Ooh, thing. A good one. Wow. That's a dandy. I made a much bigger profile by sticking a plastic on the end of the treble and then adding a grub to it. back from Lake of the Woods with a limit of crappies and a bunch of saugers, a couple walleyes. All in all, not a bad trip, was it? Actually, it was an awesome trip. We literally went up two days is all we had on this trip. So to go up and, and catch the amount of fish that we did, that was pretty impressive. We, the first day we got enough walleyes for dinner. I threw one back in the slot, a decent walleye, and a few saugers that we kept for dinner. And day two we caught few saugers the first hour and a half in a hard shack. Then we went out to Canada with Dan Schmidt in search of big crappies and uh, that didn't take very long. Dan knows what he's doing. He's really good at what he does for, as a guide for Sunset Lodge. He will get you on the fish. We, we, we were in the shack probably five minutes before our first fish. The first one was a crappie over 14 and a half inches. So that was pretty crazy. I don't know how many crappies we caught, but it was hot and heavy almost most of the day. There was very, very few periods that it was a lull, and usually when that happened, the saugers would come in, you get a sauger or two. So, all in all, great trip. I can't wait to come back up. A lot of fun. Get yourself up to Sunset Lodge. <laughs>